Soil Moisture Indicator Soil Moisture Indicator measures the volumetric water content in the soil. Efficient irrigation management practices save considerable amount of water. For this, devices like Soil Moisture Indicator is essential to assess the status of soil moisture before scheduling irrigation. In most places, irrigation scheduling based on soil moisture is almost not in practice. This is due to the non-availability of easy-to-use, rugged, effective, and inexpensive soil moisture indicators. In this video, we will learn how to make a soil moisture indicator. These are the components which are needed in this project. 1. NPN Transistor BC547 2. 1 kilo ohm resistor 1. 47 kilo ohm resistor 1. 4.7 kilo ohm resistor 2 red LED 1 green LED 2 copper wires 9 volt battery PP3 battery connector on off rocker switch 1 0 PCB 4 screw with nuts and 4 plastic spacers Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor to protect the LED from high current and voltage. We are using two copper wires to sense the soil moisture. One copper wire is connected to the positive supply, and the other one is connected to the base terminal of transistor. When soil is wet, then these two wires will connect with each other, and base terminal of transistor will get a high signal. When transistor will get a high signal at its base, then it will turn on, and pass the current through the green LED. So when the soil is wet, then green LED will glow. Now when the soil is dry, then copper wires will disconnect, and base terminal of transistor will get a low signal. In this case, transistor will turn off, and it will cut the supply of green LED. So green LED will turn off. When green LED will turn off, then red LED will glow. Current always follows the low resistance path. We have used a 4.7 kilo ohm resistance with red LED, and no resistance is used with green LED. So, when transistor will turn on, then most of the current available, will be consumed by the green LED, so red LED will not get the enough current to glow. When transistor will off, then red LED will glow. These are the components, which we will use to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB.
Now we will solder the 47 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. This is NPN transistor, and BC547 is its model number. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will solder the green LED. Now we will solder the red LED. Now we will make the hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. Now we will take two copper wires. We will do the tinning. Connect the red wire with positive supply and black wire with the transistor. Now we will connect the 9 volt battery with our circuit and test the project. We have connected two metal bars with our sensor. To simulate our soil moisture indicator, we will use a glass with dry soil. We will dip our sensor inside the glass. Since the soil is dry, red LED is on. When we put some water inside the glass, green LED will glow and indicate that soil is moist. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.